Folks, this is Wayne Art back, and today we're continuing our little journey into sort of scales for beginners, or sort of you know a beginner's guide to scales, if you like. Uh, I'm hoping you all watch my last lesson, the first one in this short series that I'm going to do. That was about the A minor pentatonic scale. Today we're looking at the A blues scale, and uh, really, all we're really doing is adding a couple of notes in the scale that you're already familiar with, known as the blues notes. But uh, Having said that, it adds loads and loads of stuff that you can do. Sounds completely different, and there's some great technique that you can add in there as well. So we're going to take a look at that in a minute. If you do want the scale charts to sort of coincide with these lessons, like I say, it's going to be a short series, so I have posted the scales up that we're going to be looking at. These are just the first shapes. So we're going to be looking at the, obviously, we've done the A minor pentatonic scale. This is the A blues scale, and we're going to be looking at the major scale as well. So we're... All of those are up on my Patreon site on a little chart and it shows you where the root notes are and everything. So if you want that to sort of coincide with the lessons, I'm going to put a little link to that in the description below. Uh, and all you've got to do is pledge as little as a couple of quid a month, you know, more if you could. It'd be very much appreciated. Um, but uh, please go and check that out if you want that to coincide with these lessons. But uh, that's enough of me rambling. Without further ado let's get stuck okay so today we're looking at the a blue scale and if if you watch lesson one about the a minor pentatonic uh, we're going to play in exactly the same position it will look more or less identical to that scale but as i said you've got two extra notes that you're going to be adding into the scale uh, the reason i'm playing it on the fifth fret now as i said in lesson one it'd be quite handy at some point if you learn how to read the notes on the fretboard at the very least on the low e and the a string and it'll give you an understanding of how you can change these scales into different keys okay like i say there's plenty of information up on youtube or if you search on the internet but if you would like me to do a lesson obviously drop me a message leave a comment i'd be more than willing to do you know to talk about that but it's pretty simple information to get down and get an understanding of like I say there's loads of information out there but the reason i'm doing it on the fifth fret in the key of an a i just think as a beginner it's a great place to practice a scale as if you play it further down the fretboard you notice the frets are a lot wider or if you get further up the frets get a lot closer so your fingers tend to trip over each other as a you know as a beginner so we're uh, ideal place to practice a scale is in the key of an a because there's loads of backing tracks available and it's also a good place because the you know the frets are quite a nice distance so you're not really stretching with your fingers okay so i'll play the scale first and then i'll uh, i'll explain how to play the scale and uh, show you a few things that you can do with it here we go so Okay, so the A blues scale. Now, if you watch lesson one and watch the A minor pentatonic scale, you can see we're more or less playing the same notes, but there's two extra notes in there. So I'll just talk us through the scale. So the first finger on the low E string is going to play the fifth fret. The little pinky on the E is going to play the eighth fret. Now we're on the A string, so first finger on the fifth fret, we've got this new note. Second finger is going to play the sixth fret. So that's the obviously the blues note we're adding in there. Third finger will play the seventh fret. Now we go to the D. First finger, fifth fret. Third finger, seventh fret. The G. First finger, fifth fret. Third finger, seventh fret. We've got this new note, the blues note. Little pinky is going to play the eighth fret. The B string. First finger, fifth fret. Little pinky, eighth fret. And the same on the top E string. First finger, fifth fret. Little pinky, eighth fret. So we. see compared to the a minor pentatonic just adding those notes in it adds low it makes it sound completely different 
can you can hear that blue sort of influence there and what they actually are they're the the fourth notes like the fourth uh, intervals so we count the note from the root note one two three four so we've got a root note there so one two three four and they're known as the blues notes okay so obviously practice that scale like i said in lesson one do it really really slowly get it under your fingers um learn to play you know up the scale and then back down the scale going back up again backwards as we suggested in lesson one also try and keep your fingers as low down to the fretboard you know what i always found when i started out and my guitar teacher sort of picked me up on it my fingers used to come right off the fretboard like so try and keep your fingers you know as low down to the fretboard as you can almost waiting to go on to those notes Okay. It doesn't take long to be able to do that if you sort of pay attention to it. Uh, another thing we talked about was alternative picking, where you pick the first note down, the second note up, and go you know throughout the scale doing that. A little bit harder this one because we've got those extra notes in. So we get a down, up, down, up, down, up, etc. You know, going so do that obviously going up the scale, down the scale, practice that. Uh, I'll just talk where the root notes are again. So we've got obviously a root note there. That's on the 5th fret on the low E string. We've got a root note on the 7th fret on the D. And we've also got a root note 5th fret on the top E string. So when you start you know, playing with a backing track, um, you know, making little licks up as we did with the A minor pentatonic scale I showed you in lesson 1. Um, you know, you can start resolving little licks on those root notes. So it just sounds complete. Now what I suggest for a, for a backing track, um, you know, there's loads available on YouTube if you just put an A blues backing track in and play this over the top, or if you want to put your own backing track together as I did, um, I just recorded it on my phone, you know, you can record on most mobile phones or iPads these days, or if you've got a loop pedal, it's good fun to put your own chord sequence together. So I did it, you know, you could either do it over an A7 chord, you play that as an open chord, or you, you know, you could play that as a as a bar chord, just strum that chord. Okay, or if you wanted to do a, a one, four, five chord sequence known as the blues chord sequence, used a lot in 12 bar blues, you could use an A7 or an A chord. The seventh chord sounds a little bit bluesier though, so we do an A7, a D7, Back to the A7, E7, D7, and then back to the A7. If you wanted to do it, work just over open chord, so an A chord, D chord, just all major chords, back to an A. Or if you wanted to get a little bit more adventurous, it sounds nice if you do sort of. Now I've done some lessons on acoustic blues. If you want to go in a bit more detail into this, but sort of around the A, you know, doing that sort of thing. That's what I did, that's what the sort of thing that I recorded. Like I say, if you want to look into more detail into that, obviously check out my... I did a short acoustic blues course, I think about 12 months ago, so go up on my playlist, look at my technique lessons and it's up there. But anyway, whatever you want to do, if you, you know, the easiest way, just put a backing track up onto YouTube. So I'll show you a few things, obviously. Um, mm. We talked about the root notes earlier on, so if you're making a little lick up, try and resolve it on a root note, you know, just sounds complete. Um, but a few things that you can do, if you look where the blues notes are, it's nice to do these little slides into the blues notes. So that's a nice little lick, the other one, you know. You can see them sliding in there on my third finger. Also, it's nice to do a semitone bend into that note. So, if we 
play with that and we just do the bend so we've got a semitone bend there so we're bending to the pitch of that so some really handy things that you can do there so we're I'm just going to put my backing track on and sort of improvise a little bit like I did in the intro and show you a few things that you could actually use so here we go <laughs> So uh, have fun with that. I hope that was really helpful. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you all dug that, and I hope you're enjoying this series. Like I say, they're aimed at people who maybe never played a scale before, or you know, maybe people who haven't played a scale for a while. Uh, and as I said, it's great for finger dexterity, great fun when you get improvising, and just great sort of building blocks on the guitar, taking you away from chords and getting there. Uh, a bigger understanding of the guitar and other things that you can do obviously a lot of you know guitar solos guitar riffs come from scales so really handy to get down and as I said in the intro if you want the chart to sort of coincide with this so all the root notes are colored in as well so it's really handy it's up on my patron page so as I said there's a little link to that in the description below if you want to go and check that out so thanks for the continued support thanks if you really dig what I do and you subscribe to my channel really appreciate that Further way that you could help me out is hitting that little notification bell that's somewhere down there. Also, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a follow on social media or a like. So I'm Wayne Arguitar on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now also TikTok, as I always say, I'm trying to get down with the kids. I'll try my best anyway, but there we go. So we're, and uh, another thing is word of mouth is a powerful thing. So if you like what I do, please like and share my videos, tell your friends, tell your work colleagues point them in my direction i'd really appreciate that so that just leads me to say have a great morning day night whenever it is you're watching and i'll catch you all for lesson very soon take care